Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, we want to take a look at Bluebeam. I want to show you how to tag the drawings and how to create a log. This is a great exercise that you can do when you receive any revisions, any design changes on your project, and you want to create a specific filter for the drawing sheets, and then you want to generate a log with a hybrid link. So that's gonna tell everybody what's been added, what's been removed, and what sheets are available to review. Let's jump into Bluebeam so we can see how we can tag the drawings and create a log. Sets is gonna give you the ability to organize the model. So you can basically click on the set, new set, um, you can open it up and you can see right here, collection of individual sheet as if they are a single document. So we can apply the tag and also create the drawing logs. Okay, you can add, if you have any open files or you can go to your folder to open your uh, drawing. So this is the one that I have over here. Um, after you're done, um, you can, if you have anything you can remove, you can add, we can go to options. So right here, you can basically create like what you want to show. You want to show page label, file name, like how you want to basically name it over here. Uh, and you want to sort the categories. This, these are the basically filters that I created, but you can kind of add more and change those abbreviation by adding, clicking on the plus button. Um, you with, with that, you can basically create a different category and just filter with a different name tags this is where you can create the tags for your set so i'm only needing sheet name and sheet number but again if you want you can hit the plus button you can create your customized tab if you want to issue date a revision date and whatnot and also you can go to default and select from the default uh, line items and just make sure when you select those when you come back to the custom you need to select the tag type it's a date number or text so for the purpose of this training i'm just going to stick to the sheet number and the name uh, when you are satisfied with your selection hit ok immediately is going to create a tag so anything that you um, do not select basically acting like a blue mark is going to give you an option to go and um, basically identify the location that you want the blue beam to select that info from so when you're done hit ok you can see basically creating my tag for i have like six or seven sheets over here for all of these sheet that i have you can see start with the sheet number and the sheet name that's what i was asking and also i can see the revision number that i wanted per uh, drawings so when you're basically uh, done you can uh, see it on the side right now under the sets i have telecom because this is my security and i filter it as telecom if you want to modify if you want to edit every single sheet that you have and you want to basically change some definition or define a new um, tag for it you can kind of use um, these items if you want to add more files later on you can go to modify and then select models and add uh, select drawings and add to your uh, set and if you basically want to select a new one you can kind of follow the same process it's going to add it to your existing item um, the main thing that i want to show you when everything is done you can go to the publish and the you see the last one is export log drawings so this is going to be in excel pdf uh, it's going to give you uh, a list of the drawing that you have you can um, basically go through these select some items you can see the sample how it's going to look like in the excel uh, and also on the under the type column you can see which ones are the tag that we created and which was uh, which line item was the built-in um, the blue beam that was already in so what i'm gonna look at right now only sheet name number category and the revision that's why i want to create in my log but if you want to have want to see more in the pages and stuff like that you can add all of those you can export as we talked about as an excel or pdf you can kind of add the title to it and then the location that you want to export your log to 
Um, this is basically uh, you can create and also make sure you check the box for create hyperlinks because it's going to connect your Excel sheet to your PDF drawing. So whoever want to go through the log and they want to click on the link, they'll be able to see the drawing. So you can see right here the Excel is created. I have those four columns for sheet, name, number, category, and revision. So everything is telecom and the link is created. So as soon as I click on the Excel, link you can see basically open up the the pdf so i think this is a great thing that you can kind of share with your team when you get to division rev, new revisions new changes um like a, the different milestone that you get uh, drawing from you can kind of see how you can share this with your team and create a very organized log on all the drawings that you receive in pdf Thank you guys for watching today's video on Bluebeam learning how to tag drawing and how to create a log. If you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you in the next video.